Hey you guys, so it's Alicia. I'm back here with another review. I'm gonna give you a review today of the El Maquillage Flawless Base Foundation. So I've been seeing many different advertisements on this and I got curious, so I went out and bought it. This brand claims to be able to help you find your perfect match. So I bought it and I wanna see if it works out. Um, so let's get right into it. So I'm gonna open it up. I think I just got it a couple days ago, it's brand new. This is how the packaging looks. And just so you guys know, I don't have anything on my face. I'm just gonna show you. Nothing on my face right now. Maybe some leftover bronzer, because I had bronzer on before I filmed this, but most of it's gone, as you can see. I'm also filming this in front of a window so that you can see how it looks in natural light. So I'm just gonna open it up. And I'm really curious to see if they got my foundation right. All right, so let's see. So I'm gonna use this brush to put it on. And apply it. Gonna pump it up. Now, if the color isn't right, I'm not gonna be mad. They have a, a policy where if you um, don't like the color, you can send it back within 14 days. So if it doesn't come out right, I'm just gonna send it back, and then I'll let you guys know about that process as we go. Okay, so I'm gonna. You know, I'm pretty impressed. I just answered a couple questions based off of like my skin type and like the, the neutral tones in my skin and it's pretty, pretty good. I only did two pumps on this side, so then I'll apply some more and then I'll probably take some pictures for you guys too, so you guys can see, so I'm gonna add some more. Might be like a shade darker than me, but that's okay. I think that it's it matches pretty well. If I wanted to cover up, I know I have some dark spots at the bottom of my um chin. If I wanted to cover things up, it would be good for a cover up. So I'm liking it so far. I think the true test is gonna be when I take pictures. And um, I put the flash on to see how it looks. So I'll show you guys that also. So I'm doing this with my camera. I don't have a mirror, so I'm probably I'm gonna end up going to get a mirror to see if everything blended out really well so I can get a closer look. But so far, I'm pretty impressed. Also, the foundation, when it's on your face, it doesn't feel like it's heavy. It's not weighing my face down. Like, come, it's coming off as very unnatural uh, looking, which I like. I don't like it to look like I'm caked up. So, pretty impressed. I'm gonna look at it in the mirror and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys the results of how it looks in natural light. I am in natural light right now. I have my ring light on and I'm also facing a window. So I don't know. I'm going to see how it looks when I take pictures of it and come back and show you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, so I'm back with my mirror. I looked in the mirror and you guys, I'm really impressed. It is, like I said, a touch darker than what I am, but I honestly don't mind that this time of year because the sun, when, if I go outside in the sun, which we wouldn't be able to go outside at least, um, I'm going to be getting a little bit darker, so I don't mind it. It actually doesn't really even look bad on camera. I feel like I have like a photo finish, which I really like, and it just looks natural. Like it, it's kind of scary how they got that right. So, um, I recommend buying it. Like if you were thinking of like, like me, like when you came across the ads thinking about it, I recommend it. it they got it right. Also got the concealer from them, so I'm gonna try some of that now, and I'm gonna show you. Comes in this. Also very nice. I'm really impressed with this brand. Um, try it out. Let me know how it works for you guys, but I'm thoroughly impressed with this. I recommend it. Um, 
my face is looking flawless take a look at the pictures let me know what you think and let me know if you have any questions or comments or anything and i'm here so here comes the pictures